He has another take. Oh. I'm going to read this verbatim. I'm going to remind you this is not my take. They're going to kill him. I'm nervous for you, my boy. Shout out to you. Gohan Beast is low-key better than Gohan as a Super Saiyan 2. I think fans are blinded by nostalgia and that Piccolo was also more of a dad than Goku, so the parallels for me are better. Ladies and gentlemen, as the first video of the 24-hour stream that you would have been in if you had your notice on, uh, mild spoiler, some change! The winner of this match and new 100k channel. Appreciate the love and support the offline viewers even gave, but of course, shout out to those that was in the stream. Shout out to those that's currently in this stream right now. We got a, a 100k channel on the rise, man, and I'm greedy. I want to M next. But before I start my Majin arc, you know, a lot of creators have tapped in lately you feel me a lot of creators have tapped in and at least said they just cool with what i got going on so then i asked them hey heat up the f is your hot take and actually we got a ton of responses i can't wait to show all these creator hot takes some creators you wouldn't expect some creators some creators are on time man this <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a legendary hot takes video subscribe to the channel comment below which creators do you think are missing and like we should get next time but under one caveat i ain't paying the dm no now i'm sorry I, that that's where my ignorance will always beat me up yeah i'm talking my this video too yeah nick I, I, look, look look we was fighting tears for like 20 30 minutes now bro now 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 i'm just uh, on a high we need to start off with our boy your bud friend of the show big tevin never the little one your bud tevin you know the guy that y'all say out drinks me all the time and he had a hot take y'all knew Ted was gonna be in the goddamn video tez my dog man actually might see that real soon bro tev went the extra mile he recorded his take so listen up after the cell saga gohan was actually supposed to be the main character and because people like goku so much he ended up just coming back and being the main character for the full thing. I think that Goku's character very rarely changes after the Cell games. Like, who he is is just kind of who he is after that. Ooh. And I feel like Gohan should have been the main character of Dragon Ball Z and even, like, Dragon Ball Super because if you follow the, the story of Goku from, like, Dragon Ball all the way up to Dragon Ball Z and even up to the Cell Saga... Goku goes through a lot of changes, like his personality goes through a lot of changes, and he like learns how to be a better human being. Not to say that he doesn't do it later, but he, a lot, he goes through a lot of change from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z to the Cell Saga. From the Cell Saga onward, his changes are very limited. Like he is kind of just Goku by that point. You know what I'm saying? He he doesn't really change. He doesn't really consider too many things. He's just a dumb motherfucker who likes to fight. And he protects the world. Like, and that is a boring main character to me. So I think after the Cell Saga, Gohan should have been the main character because Goku becomes sort not overrated, but he just becomes like flat. And that's boring to me. Like, of course he's gonna win, of course he's gonna power up, of course he's gonna wanna fight, of course he's a nice guy, of course. Da -da -da. You know what I'm saying? He just has like the Superman issue. And it's like, where. Uh, what am I supposed to enjoy about this? That's that's my hot take. Gohan should have been the main character. They should have explored that more. My brother, here's my thing. Mr. Tavine. I can't agree with you, bro. I can't. I can't. I can't. Even if you had to say, fuck it, Sage. He's right. Super regressed. LOL. Which you could argue there's certain lessons that Goku um, learns and evolves in in Super, especially in the manga. But if even if we're sticking to just the anime, even if we were to nix super in the boo saga he develops gang gotcha in the boo saga goku is obsessed with finding a successor he just straight up factually is obsessed with finding this successor to the point where i call him the troll of the boo saga i think there's millions of you talk about semi perfect cell all the times that they could the z fighters could have beat them there's like maybe i shit you not Eight different ways Majin Buu and or the Majin Buu threat is defeated. And of those eight, seven of them are like Goku's fault. 
Dead ass. Seven of them, if not all of them, are Goku's fault, man. And I think at the end of the day, what Goku ends up learning and what Goku ends up understanding is that one not everyone is is you not everyone wants to be this savior of earth as, as you described him this superman character this um fight prodigy all that stuff not everybody wants to live that lifestyle these are like he tried to do this with go ten and trunks they're children they didn't like maybe kid you would have been on go but they're not maybe kid maybe gohan if you were the age of gohan you would have finished off super Bowl, but gohan hasn't been in this position of power in seven years and that was the first time he was in the position of power of being the strongest guy in the world he didn't know how to fucking he didn't know how to handle it got arrogant again all of these situations where we literally catch boo weaker than goku and then boo surpasses everyone on the field to ultimately to cultivate to payoffs like Vegito and to cultivate to payoffs like a have earth protect itself for once all of these things show Goku that his path to power truly has been the strength in others and that it doesn't need to be other strength to protect the world by themselves or that he doesn't need to be the guy that's around that he's the guy that is bringing all the terror to earth nigga you are the reason the earth ain't blown up so I hard disagree, bro. We could get into Super if we need to get into Super, but Super, I uh, know comment 324 is going to sit there and say I'm reaching. So we can get into Super if we ever need to, but in the Boo Saga alone, Goku develops as a character. So off rip, I disagree. You're still my bud, though, gang. You're still my bud. Let's get somebody that y'all didn't know he was cool for real. Sylvanas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Friend of the show. Sylvanas has a hot take, and his hot take is... Gohan remaining relatively weak throughout the whole show was a good thing. His value was in showing his hidden strength. If he stopped hiding it, we would lose the cool moments where he's un where he unleashes his potential and Goku would be irrelevant. By the way, congrats on 100K, bro. First of all, man. Hey, shit. I never said it to you, nigga. Congrats on a mil, nigga. How about that? I'm on the way there. Now, in terms of... Do I agree, disagree? I don't agree with Goku ever being irrelevant. However, I don't think he was wrong in maybe not the direct verbiage, but Gohan loses the mystique in what makes Gohan interesting to some level, no matter how you slice it. If Gohan goes from hidden strength to, to nigga, Gohan's him, that, 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 that does happen. That that does happen. Gohan, I don't want to know if I I don't know if I want to go as far as to say Gohan's a reactionary character, but Gohan when he's he's at his best when he's reacting to immense pressure, often via often responding in a rage moment. Sometimes it's an insightful moment, but Gohan's at his best when he's reacting to immense pressure. If Gohan is going to have either a a story as a main character where a it's essentially a stronger villain shows up, he unlocks a new form, like gets even angrier than before, then that at some point that would get played out. Or B, if Gohan was essentially this self-actualized pub stomper, you would have to change the character very drastically to make him work. And that's where we get into all the fan y stuff. And I say that to say, I think Gohan right now is perfectly fine. So... More than I disagree, maybe not for the exact same points, but I actually agree that it, on, on the on the context that if Gohan was the main character, his value is diminished. I agree. Now, do I think Gohan has to be a weak bitch? Actually, no, I don't. I don't think you have to make Gohan a weak bitch. I think you can make Gohan not the strongest. I think you can make Gohan not the main character. But I, for the most part, I'm going to say one on one. I actually agree with you, Sil. Sil? Can I call you Sil? I'm going to call you Sil. Appreciate you for being a part of the show, man. Ladies and gentlemen, friend of the show, Justin's Den. <laughs> Big Just, never the little Den. He had three hot takes. One, Super Saiyan Blue is one of the worst transformations in Dragon Ball Super. Two, Super Saiyan Rage is the worst transformation in Dragon Ball Super. And then he ends it with a cold take that to uh, that the Cell Saga is the best saga. Now, I'm not gonna debate you on the Cell Saga being the best Cell. I mean, the Cell Saga being the best saga in Z. Everyone, for the most part, thinks that. 
to the point where some people are starting to think it's overrated. I actually disagree. I don't think the Cell Saga is overrated. It has its flaws for sure, but it's not overrated. It's easily the most mysterious and different ideal and different story in Dragon Ball history in terms of Dragon Ball Z, I should say, in OG in original Dragon Ball. But in terms of Blue being one of the worst, yeah. The only way that you say that um, Blue isn't one of the worst is if you go by win-loss. And I think that's kind of cor corny. I think even, even Blue's reveal was poorly executed. I've said in almost every other version of Hot Takes video, my personal thing that I'll never die on, I mean, that I'll never get rid of, sorry, I will die on this hill is what I meant to say, is Revile of F. Why did Goku go blue? You didn't need to do it. Frieza's never seen Goku with red hair. It would have been cool if they fought as Super Saiyan versus Final Form, and then Goku turns red, Frieza turns golden. It would have been cool right there. Have Vegeta turn red. Holy shit, Vegeta's unlock God key. Boom, boom. If you have to do the time reversal shit, I guess. But you don't have to do that. For the love of God, let Vegeta win the fight. When you go to um, the Universe 6 tournament, instead of Goku screaming Kaioken, you have him screen. I've never thought about stacking Super Saiyan onto my God key because I didn't know if my body could handle it. Same exact scene, same exact impression, but to be honest, maybe a bit more impactful. And then in a later arc, whether it's Goku Black or the Tournament of Power, you have Goku unveil he's tried to stack Kaioken onto it. I think that is way better continuity, makes way more logical sense, and doesn't and doesn't appear to me like you're trying to sell toys. Super Saiyan Rage is the worst. Hey man, I don't know how. I'm I'm in the community that defends Rage like like their life depends on it, so my bad, Den, but they're going to cook us for no reason. Rage is awful. It is the worst transformation by a mile, to be honest with you. It doesn't. It's the only transformation where people whose job it is is to analyze Dragon Ball, define what things mean, translations, all the other stuff. They're literally like, yeah, five-minute video, this is headcanon. And that's not hyperbole. Whether you whether you respect a car through, a geekdom, a rhyme style, whoever, whoever the creator is that you think is Mr. Dragon Ball, yeah, th their shortest transformation reactions are rage, my nigga, because it just does not make sense. Now, does it look cool? You can go for it, but it does not make sense. Makes sense if you think about it. It makes sense if you don't think about it. Actually, it doesn't make sense if you don't think about it. Just cool. Romstyle, yeah, I think I, I mentioned him because he was one of the people that uh, had the thing, but unironically, Romstyle's an idiot, ain't he? <laughs> Type shit. Shout out to the three idiots, man. But let's move on. Speaking of Carthu, ladies and gentlemen, Carthu's dojo had a fucking hot take, ladies and gentlemen, and Carthu had a hot take that I think y'all not gonna like. Carthu's hot take Super Saiyan 3 sucks. <laughs> Straight up, frame one. Narratively and and in canon specifically, it just sucks. By the way, I agree with this nigga, mild spoiler. But he said, if you need, if I need to go off, let me know. So I actually um, almost mistranslated the reaction. He says, if you need me to go off, let me know. I say, go for it. Talk your shit. Carthu says the following: It makes Goku a liar, an irresponsible liar. <laughs> he could have beaten Vegeta and could have stopped Boo and could have stopped Boo's resurrection. Could have beaten Boo, but chose to leave it to the kids, etc. It's regression for Goku as a fighter. In the Cell Saga, he drops grade 1, 2, and 3 because they're inefficient, and grade 3 is slow, fair enough. However, he then creates and uses the most inefficient form in the series. He says a lot more, but then teases his video that's coming out soon. We will be there, my boy. But uh, do I agree with him? Yeah! <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 is on my lower end. Um, The only thing that goes for it is the initial transformation and a scorcher take is I think that scene's not overrated but I don't think it's as good as y'all think but I do think it's a fire scene impressive yell Sean Schimmel deserves every penny especially if we're talking just canon so you're not getting the dragon fist so um at that point you're just looking at aesthetic it doesn't really have any major W's and then even if it did have major W's, it just feels like a, a form that we all knew was temporary. Nobody, everyone knew Goku, of all people, wasn't going to use a crash-out, stamina-draining-ass form 
especially when he's never learned to master it, which is also kind of weird. I'm surprised Carthur didn't go there with it. It's weird. It's not only weird that he uses an inefficient form, but I could get behind that if Kid Boo's that fucking strong. The fact that he never tries to master it, and he just says, oh, bet, let, let's just skip it entirely, go to some god shit or whatever. Like, I know he was training with King Kai, but it's heavily implied, especially by the Tournament of Power, where he powers up to it and then goes away and says that form takes a lot of energy. He never really masters Super Saiyan 3. So at that point, yeah, what the fuck is he doing? You could even argue regression like how he is. Either way, I don't. I don't, I don't like the form like that in terms of narrative. I don't really like the form in general any fucking way. It does look cool. Dragon Fist is awesome, but if we're taking away the Dragon Fist especially, yeah, it's probably on the lower end. It's probably on the lower end. I'm going to get cooked for that. He's going to get cooked for that. But I don't give a fuck. Let's go on to another friend of the show. A friend of the show that we crashed out over um, Dan's plan. <laughs> Big CJ the champ. He had to think about his take for a second. And I quote, King Cold is the most wasted character in the series. Most? Nah, CJ, most? Most? No. One of? Sure. I guess. Most? Nah, it's hard for me to say Tien isn't a wasted character. It's hard for me to say that um, Piccolo especially isn't a wasted character. It's hard for me to sit there and say that the kids, Goats and Antrunks, weren't wasted characters when they just never grew up, let alone did they never do anything in the series. And I'm sounding like how Chad is where every character is wasted, right? But that's my point. Like, King Cold is so lower on that list. The only reason I don't think that it's a bad take or that he's not wasted at all is because what would you do to display king cold go back in time show us flashbacks how dominant he was maybe have him kill trunks or some shit like that like you would have to convince me a king cold so fast in such a random slot that i don't necessarily think it's a wasted character trope unless like unless you're just not gonna have him pull up with freeze and then have a revenge of cold the Cold of Revenge type shit and make Cooler Cannon or King Cold Cannon or something like that. But I don't think he's a wasted character. I think he's a character that fits his role weaker than Frieza. But hey, oh my God, Frieza had a dad. I think, I think that's fine. I think that's fine for him. But he could have been more. I definitely would say that. So I'm not going to say that it wasn't somewhat of a waste even, but most wasted. Nah, nah, nah. And then what about a, what about Videl? My chat's right. What about Videl? <laughs> all right, now let's let us start getting some other creators in here. Appreciate all the other creators that the team reached out to. Big team, never the little one. We got Augie. Or Augie? I don't know how to say your name, gang. I'm so I'm so sorry. He's heavy on the superhero content. My boy said the following. According to the TSO team, unless this is Photoshop, this was his take. The only one I can think of is that PyCon is the best green character. Oh shit. Um, nah, 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 gang. I gotta go Piccolo. I ain't gonna lie. When there's a lemon on the ground, I picked up the lemon. I looked up. I expect a lemonade stand. I don't want you trying to sell me orange juice, my boy. First of all, I want you to wash off the lemon. But then I don't want you to try to sell me orange juice or apple juice, dog. He has another take. Oh. I'm gonna read this verbatim. I'm gonna remind you this is not my take. They're gonna kill him. I'm nervous for you, my boy. Shout out to you. No, I'm going to subscribe. I haven't even seen a second of the channel. I'm going to subscribe just because, hey, man, TSL coming for you. Gohan Beast is low-key better than Gohan as a Super Saiyan 2. I think fans are blinded by nostalgia and that Piccolo was also more of a dad than Goku, so the parallels for me are better. Damn, your ass, gang. They on your ass. They about to be on you. I disagree. I ain't going to lie, dog. I can't help you either. They Fight back, nigga. Fight back. I ain't fighting with you. <laughs> I ain't about to fight with you. <laughs> Good luck. Also, I didn't see Gohan go beast for Goku when he died. <laughs> oh, shit. I know it came out however many years ago, but would be funny to say. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, they're 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 gonna get you. They're gonna get you. I don't even need to explain that one. 
I don't even need to explain. I disagree. <laughs> I couldn't get him, bro. Oh, my God. I can't even crash out. I can't even crash out. Shout out to you, though, bro. I swear I'm going to watch your shit offline. You must be a funny motherfucker. I ain't going to. I guess for me, Goku versus Goku being a better dad. I mean, Piccolo being a better dad than Goku is an old brother thing. If you want to say Piccolo was a better student, I mean, a better teacher. If you want to say Piccolo was a better teacher, a better mentor, um, fine. I actually may even kind of see that coming and agree with that. But um, do I think he's a better father figure? Hell no. No. And do I think that Gohan likes Piccolo more than Goku? Shockingly enough, no. No, I don't. <laughs> the reason he didn't go beast is he wasn't strong enough. And I, I think it's shown time in and time out, no matter what we will say, no matter what we will say, this nigga Gohan loves his father a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, he he, he dead ass frame one. Oh my, as a kid, I don't need to describe kid Gohan. As a teen, I don't need to describe teen Gohan. But even as a fucking adult, this nigga consistently crashes out over his daughter, his wife, and his dad. I'm, t I'm telling you, yo, Gohan loves his father. This is the internet overtaking reality of Dragon Ball. But I don't need to do much more. I don't, I don't even need to give myself a take that you can counterpoint, man. This Better than Super Saiyan 2 is going to be enough to dig your grave. If you had just said Super Saiyan 2 in general, yeah, but you're you're clearly specifying Gohan. Granted, in the text, he didn't say Gohan, but um, he's clearly talking about Gohan, so that is what it is. The next take from a YouTuber that goes by, and sorry, I'm just not a fake guy. I'm not a fake guy. I'm not going to be here. Oh, yeah, I saw all their videos and shit like that. Nah, nigga, I'm learning about the community, nigga. Subbing up to everybody that was in this video because I appreciate y'all. The next take is from a YouTuber that goes by Johnny Star, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Star has a couple of Dragon Ball videos, a perfect transformation. Okay, hold on now. Got a got a couple of uh, anime videos on his channel, and Johnny Star says Dragon Ball transformations peaked at Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Every other Saiyan transformation has, after has been for shock value and to counteract power creep. When you look at how much importance Super Saiyan 1 and 2 had on the story and the characters that unlocked them, the other forms start to feel more watered down with less purpose. You know what? That's not the worst take, but I do think it's incorrect. Because actually, you're, you're, you do go on a crazy run. Super Saiyan 3? Yeah, yeah. Super Saiyan 2 and 1 were built up better. Super Saiyan God, as much as I think Super Saiyan God is great, Super Saiyan 2 and, two and 1 were built up very good. So that's debatable, and I probably would say that, yeah, Super Saiyan 1 and probably even 2 were built up as better transformations than God was, even though God is fantastic. Blue, you got it. Blue were, you definitely got it. Rage, the fusions, you got it. Better build up unless you're really heavy on um goku vegeta finally teaming up lol but even then he said transformation so i don't even think that's what he's talking about uh if you count four i mean four has a fire concept but i would say one and two are still built up better than that and four isn't even you know can <laughs> so so there's that it's not even you know in z or super however where i think that you lose me i'm sorry dog you lost me when super don't cook, it's pretty fucking bad. All right? It can be some of the worst Dragon Ball I've seen in my life. But when super wants to cook, it's damn good. Now, the question is what chat's going to spam up. But let's just stop it before I continue the clip. The question is, in fact, fuck the clip because I already know this is going to be the counter argument. Question is, does it count? It's a technique. The gods are trying to learn it. Technically, anybody can learn it. Is it a transformation? For the most part, it is a technique. However, I think that's one of those like absurdly obtuse things to where it's like, that shit's a transformation, bro. But if you count it as a technique, fine. Well, actually, it's a technique. Snort, snort, glasses push. He's correct. I would agree with him there. However, do I think that I'm pretty sure they even say ultra instinct transformation, but I definitely think it's displayed and used as a transformation. I think it's very disingenuous to be like, oh, it's a technique. It's not even like Kaioken necessarily. It's like clearly a transformation that you can't maintain. But, you know, fine. If we're counting it as a technique, I would say he's incorrect because 
UI is definitely handled very well, and I would say debatably as good as um probably <sighs> Super Saiyan is built up rather well. But Super Sa- Super Saiyan's built up well, but Super Saiyan is kind of just like you know a Namek exclusive build up. Super Saiyan two, Gohan specifically is something that's teased from the very beginning. So it's de- it, it's it's debatable with either one of them too, to be honest. I'm not even gonna double down on. I think Super Saiyan's build up was worse than two. It, it's it's a three man race. Is my point. But that's not a bad take. That's not a bad take at all. Next guy on the list. I think a lot of you guys will know him. Haven't seen this channel in a long time, but I actually am familiar with this channel. But Masked Man had this to say about the series. And I quote, I don't get the love for Trunks. That motherfucker lives off a fire-ass first appearance, and that's pretty much it until Super. They pointed all the knives at him. They tried to tell him he was a fool. They called him an idiot even. But I just ask, as you guys tried to cut his head off, is he wrong? Do, like, 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 wait. What does Trunks do outside of that? He powers up, loses to a uh, perfect cell. Prior to, he allows all the shenanigans on the island. So that's a fuck up, if anything. He doesn't give clear visual of what the androids look like. And on top of that, he loses to the android threat yet again. When we get to Super, he births Super Saiyan Rage. Oh, fuck him. I guess he cut Zamasu in half, but even then, his take is up until Super. So when we're talking about NZ, outside of his appearance, what did he do? I think, and y'all gonna call me a hater, but the what, what he's arguing, I think I agree. Because all it is, is we care about his backstory? And we care about um his introduction. I guess literally the conclusion of the arc where he beat 17 and 18 mattered. But if that's something where you're like, yes, my favorite character. I guess. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's, if that's, the, like, you remember when uh, my boy Trace couldn't name a Vegeta moment? And then he named uh, Vegeta Killing Pui Pui. I'm not saying that moment is as low as that. But, you know, like. Why is Trunks your favorite character? Oh, yeah, when he saved his future. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I guess he gave Goku the virus. Is he like, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, turning Super Saiyan? Well, that's what he's talking about. He's saying that. He's saying that's literally. Hey, man, you're not, you're not hearing this take, man. Hey. I'm, I actually see eye to eye with you. This is a take that we're probably going to get cooked for. I. I I think he's on to something. And he has another one to close out this video. Shout out Mass Man for running up the doubles. Or you can do my take on Goku being a good dad. Motherfuckers are dumb for trying to use normal dad logic on a man that has to fight to save the world damn near 24-7 and still died for his son twice. Now y'all know I agree. Don't even talk to me about that. I'll go a step further. They're dumb for trying to compare normal dad logic to a fucking alien who is then presented to be on Earth. Using human logic on a sand father is the most backward shit possible. Do you understand Vegeta would be a bad dad? Do you understand that Piccolo would be a bad dad as well? These people are not humans, my nigga. Why, why are you using human, straight up human logic to define them as a father to their not even fully human children? That doesn't make sense. The responsible thing to do, because I know someone going to go at comment uh, 874, well, um, I'm a human, so I'm using human logic to define it, and by the human definition, he's a bad dad. No, idiot. The story gives you more than enough information to dissect how a Saiyan father sh- should go about raising their Saiyan children. Hell, even a Namekian. There, you could kind of drag it, but you you could even try to argue that somewhat for a Namekian if Piccolo were to have a kid somehow. You can use their biology and their background, their heritage, to deduce what would make a good Saiyan father. What would make a good Saiyan mother. It does no. That, so no, you're actually gaslighting. You're actually an idiot. And all in all, even if we went to just straight up human standards, how the f*** does he not love and raise his kid well? How the f*** does he not support his wife? Any, if, if there's one person he might like more than Gohan, is his fucking wife. 
So the fact that he's a bad dad and you guys never factor a good dad probably should have a good relationship with the mother is ridiculous to me. Mash man, in my opinion, you definitely went two of two. I can understand a one of two. Maybe because we're uh, turned all night. We're on a 100K high. Hopefully I can pick your brain on a Discord call, gang. Because, hey, me and you think alike, apparently. And I like that. I like that for us. Shout out every creator in this video, man. Real shit, man. The anime arc has been special. Shout out to you guys. Uh, we're past the emotional. We're past the turned up part. Uh, you guys would have seen the emotional and or turned up part if you were in the stream. I love y'all, bro. Take care. Stay blessed. Uh, 100K is just a start, though. I'm chasing the gold. But speaking of the gold, hey, for now, Silver would do. Hey, my plaque i need i need hey I, I i i like to keep it a buck but i need mine bro i need mine man. i need it send that bitch today nigga.